If you've read the news lately, then you've likely seen a story about the Delta Airlines pilots getting a major raise due to negotiations between the pilot union and Delta Airlines. But what exactly does this mean and what even is a pilot union? That's what we're talking about in this video coming up. Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Luke. I'm an 18 year old private pilot and I use this channel to document my journey from student to professional pilot. I share my experiences with you in hopes to help you make more informed career choices. Now hopping right into the video, what even is an airline union? Well, the one we're talking about in this video is the ALPA, which stands for the Airline Pilots Association. Now this is the largest pilot union in the world and they represent around 67,000 current pilots. But what exactly do they do? Well, like any other union, the job of the ALPA is to advocate for its members. They do this through contract negotiations, which you'll see in this video, and they advocate for better pay, better working additions, and make sure that companies don't take advantage of their employees. In this case, pilots. So now that we've covered the basics, let's hop in to how this applies current day and why it's relevant. Recently, Delta Airlines, along with many other legacy pilots such as United and American, have been trying to negotiate with their airline for better pay and better working conditions. Like I said, it's a common theme with the unions. What they did is Pre-COVID, they wanted to be paid more and they wanted better schedules. So COVID kind of put a stop to that. It slowed it down because obviously there were many furloughs in the industry and people were just happy to have their job at their company. But now that COVID is done, air travel has rebounded and is now increasing more than it was pre-COVID era. The pilots and the pilot shortage is really affecting the union. Basically what is happening is the huge pilot shortage that we're facing is causing pilots at these legacies to fly a lot and they feel entitled that they should have more money. And when I say entitled, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that they feel that they are worth more money than they are getting paid. And this is when the union steps into place and this is the job of it. So as a result of pilots striking and negotiating, they reached an agreement, which is a 34% pay increase over four years. What this means is that over the next four years, every single pilot at Delta Airlines will get paid an increased amount and it's going to add up to 34%. That's gonna be broken down and it's not gonna be equal, but it's going to end up being 34 by the end of the four years. The pilot union announced that 78% of Delta pilots agreed on this, which is a huge accomplishment. This basically means that their entire pilot population is all on the same page. And that's a tremendous stride for a pilot union. Now it's not just Delta that wants to do this. All the other legacies like Southwest, United and American are also in contract negotiations and the pilot unions there want to do the same thing. So I'm guessing that Delta is going to be the start of many to come in the coming months. And I guarantee by the end of 2023, an agreement will be made at each of those airlines. So I hope that you learned something new because I really wasn't too aware of what a pilot union was and what exactly they did until this story came about and until I did some more research on it. So if you are an airline pilot and you have any input, any opinion on what is going on right now, make sure to let us know by going down below and dropping a comment. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on this video and if you wanna see more like it, then click subscribe so you never miss another one again. I upload every single Saturday at 10 a.m. And with that being said, that is the end of this week's video. Until next week, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, and keep the blue side up. Keep flying safe, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.